This video will explain how to use the Optronics Light Source and Power Meter Kit to test a fibre optic link and then to save and manage the results. We will use an Optronics OPT ELS100 light source, Optronics OPT EPM500 power meter, a reference patch lead and fibre mandrel to test an OM2 50 over 125 length of fibre. We will use an Optronics 150 meter OM2 dead zone to simulate our fibre link. Before testing your fibre link, you must make sure all your connectors and adapters are clean and free from dirt. The Optronics cleaning kit contains all the items required to ensure that the fibre optic link is kept as clean as possible. Select the correct reference lead to match the fibre to be tested. Select the correct mandrel wrap to match the fibre to be tested. Please note, a mandrel wrap will not be used for single mode testing. Carefully wrap the reference lead around the mandrel. Multimode fibre mandrels offer a simple way to improve repeatability and consistency of multimode optical loss power testing and are used when testing multimode power loss in the field with an LED source. The tight bends induced extinguish the higher order modes so that only the lower order modes emanate from the reference lead. Firstly, we need to set our reference value against which the link will be tested. Take the light source and the power meter and set them on their stands. Turn on the light source. Now using the wavelength key, select the desired wavelength to test. Once the wavelength is selected, attach the reference lead to the correct port on the light source. Next, turn on the power meter and connect the other end of your reference lead to the power meter port. Press the wavelength key to cycle through the available wavelengths, stopping at the desired wavelength. By pressing the button at the top right, you can switch between showing power in microwatts, power in dBm, or loss in dB. Hold down the reference key to zero the reference lead. The display should read zero. Now we have set our reference, we can test the link. Remove the reference lead from the power meter and connect it to the front end of the link under test. Then connect the far end of the link under test to the power meter. The reading you will see on the power meter is the measured insertion loss for the link under test. Hold down the next key to store this measurement. We will now see how to store a pass-fail threshold. From the normal operating mode, press Setup to cycle through the available menus. Select the Power Meter menu and press Next to enter the pass-fail setup. Using the wavelength key, select the desired wavelength for which to set the threshold. Press the reference key to switch between setting a reference for power in dBm's and loss in dB. We will now set the threshold at 1.1 dB. Hold down the next key until the first digit blinks at the top of the screen. Using the recall key, select a value between 0 and 9. Use the next key to move on to the next digit and set as before using the recall key. Press the next key again to move on to the third digit, set with the recall key. Press next again to move to the fourth digit, 
and select with the recall key. After setting the last digit, press next again and all digits will flash. Press the recall key to set the value as a negative or positive figure. Once set, hold down the next key to store the threshold. Press the recall key to activate or deactivate the threshold. Note the star symbol to the top right of the screen. A star symbol indicates an active threshold. Press the power key twice to return to normal operating mode. A green light indicates a pass and that the measured loss is below the set threshold. By inducing a bend in our fibre link, we can see the light change to red once the measured loss is above our set threshold. In this section we will see how to manage the data. From the normal operating mode, press the setup key to cycle through the available menus and select the data menu. Press the next key to enter the menu. In this screen we can edit the file name, fibre ID and increment value. Hold down the next button. The first digit of the file name will flash. Press the recall key to change the value. Press the next key to move to the next character and repeat the previous steps to create your desired file name. To edit the fibre ID at the top left of the screen, press the next key to move to the first digit. Press the recall key to change the value. Press the next key to move to the next character and repeat the previous steps to create the desired fibre ID. To edit the increment value at the top right of the screen, press the next key to move to the increment number. Press the recall key to set the increment value to 2, 0, or 1. Hold down the next key to save your settings. When all digits have stopped flashing, you know your settings have been stored. Press the power key twice to return to the normal operating mode. We will now see how to recall and delete saved results. From the normal operating screen, hold down the recall key. The last saved result is displayed. Hold down the recall key to return to the list of available file names and press next to cycle through the file names. Now we are in our desired file, press the next key to cycle through the saved fibre IDs. The fibre ID again is displayed in the top left of the screen. To delete a result, hold down the setup key until Dell is displayed. Press the next key to cycle through the saved fiber IDs. We will see our result has been deleted. Press the power key to return to the normal operating mode. This concludes the video for the Optronics OPTMS Kit 2. Thank you for watching.